All right, we have Kennedy Sabakele here, uh, head of the 2022 London Marathon. So I know you were supposed to run Boston initially earlier this year, but had to withdraw. It sounded like you had a, an injury or something in training. What was the issue there? Uh, uh, of course, uh, after a few races, you know, in the, in the beginning, uh, I was uh, not uh, really 100% mm -hmm. uh, healthy, you know, and uh, I had some uh, problems in my muscle days. So that's why I, I, I canceled the race. Mm -hmm. I was not uh, ready for that race. Yeah. yeah. When, w what was the issue? Was it the calf or was it somewhere else? Uh, with a joint problem, like hip area. Hip area. No, yeah, lower back and uh, joint, you know. So it was a little bit painful. When, when did you get over that? When did that get better? Uh, uh, normally I can't train, but in that time also, you know, the pain was over, mm -hmm. but uh, I was not ready, you know, my training was going well, so mm -hmm. because uh, I have to do some build, build up and uh, stay in uh, uh, just uh, medium training, you know, I don't have to force it again mm -hmm. to prevent the injury, so that's why we are not... Uh, for that race. Yeah. yeah. When, when did you resume full training? Uh, step by step, of course, uh, we increased the training, but uh, mm -hmm. exactly, you know, I cannot tell you, you know, this month or that month, but just step by step, you know, just we increase, you know, uh, depend how my, uh, depend my feeling, you know, my body response. Yeah. So, yeah. How did you feel about your training for this race? Now I'm uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, of course, my health was also in bit better condition, and uh, you know I prepared well. Did you have any other issues, injury, illness? No. 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 Um, did you go to Nijmegen again before this race? Mm, not this time, but of course. Uh, Two months before, I was there, you know, for uh, rehabilitation, you know, for rehabilitating, uh, you know, to visit a physio there in the checkup, some uh, to check, uh, you know, my body with the doctors, and uh, mm -hmm. also get treatment from uh, physiotherapy, mm -hmm. and uh, of course do some exercises there yeah. to build up, uh, you know, like strength is uh, workout. And that was two months ago, you said. Yes, before uh -huh. two months. Yes. Yeah. How long were you there for? Uh, one and a half months. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, for Sunday, do you have a goal, a uh, time or place? Uh, it's uh, really difficult to... Uh, of course, in my mind, you know, this is some, something, you know... Uh, I couldn't decide, but uh, of course I have some feelings, maybe to do this or that, you know, I couldn't decide yet. Just I'm uh, reading the competitors and the weather and, you know, how it feels. Okay. Um, you ran at the Great North Run a few weeks ago, 61.01. How did you feel about that time, that performance? Uh, actually, I was okay, but uh, I couldn't expect, of course, uh, that time and uh, I knew before the race, you know, my training was not uh, really perfect and uh, enough for that race. Just I'm um, uh, uh, over the build up, you know, the, for the this marathon, London Marathon. So I was not uh, really 100% ready for that race. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why, you know, the, the race was a little bit difficult for me to catch up. So. On the other hand, you know, I'm happy, you know, it's not a bad result. And in the end, you know, I ran uh, 61. Of course, not perfect, but it's okay. Yeah. It's okay race, yes. Were you, were you going 100% effort in the race or were you holding back at all? Mm, of course, before the race also, I'm not 100%. You mm -hmm. know, I, I have doubt, you know, because uh, I feel something, you know, I miss some trainings, you know. Uh, but sometimes, you know, 
uh, things are not uh, go as you expect or uh, you know something so something going change but uh, of course I know myself I'm not 100% ready but just uh, I thought that is uh, maybe I'm enough for this race maybe but uh, I couldn't expect you know the race to become fast that much yeah do you feel 100% now of course <laughs> okay what 100%. changed in those last three weeks uh, of course, uh, some training is changing uh, uh, better than that race. Uh, it's uh, really not, uh, you know, that race was not my target, you know, in the, at the moment in that time. So uh, my target to run this marathon. So it makes a difference, you know, mm -hmm. mentally, physically, everything. Um, you turned 40 years old earlier this year. What still motivates you to keep going? Mm. my plan my my goal you know which is what i want to do something over marathon you know i want to add up some result you know good result yeah so that motivating me but you you've run the second fastest uh time well i guess third fastest time but the second fastest performer and you have that's not enough you want more than that's that. not enough yes i want more so you still do you think the world record even though it's 20109 that's, that's still something course, you can do yes, yes yeah um how much longer do you think you will compete in the marathon that's no one no one knows no god would know but uh, of course the only thing i have to feed and try my best mm -hmm. when you look at your workouts and training and compare them to when you ran 201 in berlin in 2019 does does it tell you that you can still get to that level or is it uh, what is how does it compare and somehow yes uh, i can see from my trainings and uh, of course sometimes not feeling similar but almost you know you can feel something you know mm -hmm. not big difference all right well i think that's everything i wanted to cover i appreciate the time kenisa and thank good you. luck on sunday thank you